Hey YouTubers, SQ 165 here. I want to do this little unboxing video. It's my kind of unboxing. I'm kind of unconventional, but of the Prime Welder CT520 DP. And uh, I also want to do, in conjunction with it, a review on this Central Pneumatic 125 PSI compressor. And this is the main reason I'm doing this video for, is because I searched the internet and YouTube and couldn't find really how much minimally you need to run this machine. The whole thing about this 45 pound machine is to be portable. Well, one guy in New Zealand did it and I did a conversion for us because his was all in metric. So I didn't, I, a couple things were standard or standard if you will, but I converted it and this is about as close as I find found. And this thing works really well together. I mean, um, it's uh, 125 PSI, 10 gallon tank, uh, 2.5 horsepower motor, plenty. Um, five and a half CFM, five and point, excuse me, 5.3 CFM at 90 PSI, okay? And um, you don't need more than 90 PSI to cut half inch. Hell, I don't cut that big of stuff. But anyhow, um, hardly ever, you know, maybe twice that I know, and I fix a lot of crap, so. But anyhow, what was kind of cool is it came with this uh, tank torch as well, and it came with an electrode holder for stick. I, I, you know, it's a DC machine, of course. Um, and a conversion cable, and I didn't, I knew the converter cable came with it, but I didn't, because that's the beauty of it, 110, 220. Um, but I didn't know it came with collets and electrode holders that, you know, you've got two methods of welding as well. They should, you take that thing, you don't need anything else for building gates or fixing a trailer. That's great. Um, I'm, I've done some work with it. It's held up real well. I'm happy with it. And here's the thing, 400 bucks, say 200 bucks with a little warranty on it, okay? 600 bucks total, you can't beat that. I mean, we're looking at one at work, $5,000, but it, it cuts a little bit more, but not much more, and that's, you know, but it's commercial, but for a light guy, you know, for a small fix-it repair guy, this is a beautiful piece of machinery. So I cut some metal with it, and uh, that's eighth inch. Um, it's an old edge of blade, and uh, on only at 60 PSI, and uh, on 110, okay? I cut this one on 220, it's a little jagged, but 60 PSI, and you could dial it up, but I think that that was just me learning how to run the machine because I was figuring stuff out. So, um, you know, I'm happy with it. Um, I've done some cleaner work with it since then. Uh, this was when I first got it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's well worth the money, and it gets you away from it, lugging heavy torches around and you still need torches for doing certain stuff, but a small one, you don't have to lug it. It's portable, that's what the whole idea, the idea of this thing is. But anyhow, um, I'm doing this video, this is the first time you see me before the can camera, you know, this is for my buddy Randy, because he sees, says I need to progress. Anyhow, I don't know. Anyhow, let me show you how I have this uh, set up. I've got this thing pinned at 125 PSI. And then there's a, a jumper cable, or jumper line, excuse me, cable, <laughs> dork. Uh, this is a jumper line that goes to the back of the machine. It's a 10 foot jumper line. And you plug it in there when you need to use it. And then the thing comes with a, a regulator. It's in the back of the machine. They got great instructions with this machine. Just plumb it up the way they tell you to plumb it up. And it's, and it's perfect. I, I bought some other fittings because I wanted them, you know, to be a little bit different. But um, they work just fine. And there you dial your you dial your pre-SI up on this. And there's your gauge right there. And I set mine at 60. And it's been working just fine. The beauty of it is, is that... Uh, Harbor Freight sells a 10-gallon portable air tank, the kind that you bring to the desert with you or camping or whatnot, and it could sit right there, right there. And what you'd do is you'd put a short jumper line from here to the front of it and then put this line here out the back of it 
to the machine and you'd have double the capacity. On my channel, I have a video on how to do that. I, I, it's simple. If I can do it, anybody can do it. It's, it's simple. Um, you gotta buy a couple fittings, no big deal. They're obtainable. You just gotta look for them. You can buy the, the jumper cable from Harbor Freight too, and I think you could buy the fittings there too as well. If not, go to the hardware store to get one or two. But you know, those you know, you can figure it out. On my channel, I kind of show what you need to look look for in the other video. Anyhow, this is my take on this, and I figured I'd do it because somebody probably is wondering the same thing I was wondering. How much how least amount of pressure do you really need to run this doggone thing because it's portable? Well, here you go. SQ Hunter out.